up, guys? It's nice to see you. I'm running a little bit late right now. It's 5.20 a.m. I should already be down there working out, but it's a deload workout, so the volume is going to be very low, so it shouldn't take me too long. You win somehow, so give up on the bottom, baby. So how do you guys pick your workout music? I know I have this Spotify playlist for just workout songs, but sometimes Spotify is a little bit risky because if it hits a commercial in the middle of your set or if Adele turns on like you guys might have seen in a previous video, it can kind of throw you off. But I think I am gonna risk it because I'm a little bit sick of the songs on my phone. Or you just watch the video and you get 30 minutes of ad-free listening and some people are gonna say, you should just pay $10 a month and get the premium version with no ads. So my body's a little bit beat up after the last few weeks, a lot of high rep beltless training, especially last week where I hit some pretty decent numbers, I was pretty pleased at least. So I'm looking forward to this deload week, but this is a little bit different than any deload that I've ever done. So you might have seen this on Brandon's channel, which with his upload frequency is probably still his last upload even though I'll be releasing this video well over a week after his. But this is set up originally to hit 50% of your one rep max for six reps, which that's pretty lightweight, and for me, I detrain pretty easily, so if I don't push it hard enough when I go back into the weeks that aren't deloads, I'll kind of regress a little bit. But some of the guidance that Garrett has given is go ahead and try to hit a rep PR on your deload week, which is very counterintuitive to me. It took me a while to grasp. So what I'm going to try to do is use 315 pounds for six reps. Now, I don't know that this is a PR because I don't train high bar, but it will be interesting just to see because I have not had 315 on my back in a while, so I kind of just want to feel it out. So after I got through the initial shock of feeling 315 pounds on my back, oh shoot, it wasn't too bad. A little bit slow, probably had a little bit more in me, but I definitely don't want to push it since it's a deload week. So six reps with 315 pounds, it's just one set. So that's kind of the crucial part to this deload, making sure the volume isn't too high. One of the reasons I don't really like to work out at home too much is because this bench that I have is pretty raggedy, as you can see. Definitely not ideal, especially for getting really tight and digging yourself into the bench. So I finally broke down and I purchased a new one from Rogue, which is probably one of the only perks of living in Ohio. I don't live too far from there, so shipping isn't that bad, but even then, where I'm from is even closer. So I had my secretary go pick up my bench that I ordered just to save, you know, 30 or 40 bucks on shipping. Figured, why not? So hopefully next time you see me down here, I will be using a much better bench. The Rogue Monster bench is what I ordered, and I've heard really good things about it. It's still really weird for me to live in the suburbs. When I grew up here, we do it in a field, rock it all night till the sun comes up. We got a hundred blue cans sitting on ice in the back of my truck. So this guy is much better. Really happy with this purchase. Thing is solid as a rock. It's about five times heavier than this bench I have over here, and it's probably even a safety hazard to use this thing. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but uh, it's kind of uh, kind of rattling around, so when I was benching, and obviously I don't bench a whole lot of weight, I could hear it like creaking, and I was like, oh man, all I need is for this thing to break. So, probably a good investment, real excited to use that, probably won't get to use it for another few days, but it'll be here for a while. This could potentially be a pretty good grocery store find. These protein bars have decent macros, not as good as like a Quest bar, but the thing about these is that they are only a dollar. So if they taste good, they might be worth it to some of you. So it's pretty good actually, not the best bar that I've ever had, but like I said, for a dollar, can't beat it. Hey, what's up guys? You left me some really good feedback regarding workout footage. A lot of you said that it was boring, not just on my channel, but on a lot of channels, and that you really don't want to watch other people work out all the time. And I tend to agree with you. So moving forward, I'm going to try to limit it a little bit more. And I still want to include workout footage in most of the videos. Obviously, this is a fitness channel, but I'll be more concise about it. And I'll only show you things when I feel like I have something value added to say, or one of my better lifts, or, you know, just something that's interesting. Hopefully not just some redundant workout footage just for filler to take up, you know, five or six minutes in a video. Moving forward, I'm still in this deload week, starting with some Spoto presses. So if you don't see me touching my chest, that is why, because I am doing a Spoto press. I have gotten that question a few times from newer people to the channel. So I ended up hitting a six rep max on a Spoto press with about 205 pounds, I believe that it was. I had more left in the tank, but like I said, it is a deload week, so I do want to be just a little bit conservative. 
wasn't too sure what I was going to do for my conventional deadlift six rep PR, or at least attempt at a PR. So I did 365 pounds and it felt pretty good, but there's definitely still some more there. And like I said, I just didn't want to push it too much. So I'm really glad with the way things are going right now. Things are feeling really good and I can't wait to jump into the next step of the program, which is going to be the exact same exercises, just with a different rep range, which I will touch on in another video. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please give the video a like if you did, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, what's up guys? I feel like I keep you so cooped up in my house all the time. I never take you out and about on little adventures. And that's because I do this crazy thing every day called work. So it's a little bit harder, but I figured I would take you out just to run a few errands here and uh, cover a topic that a lot of you ask me to do quite often, and that is saving money. So today's lesson, it's gonna be, be very brief, is don't spend more money on things than you have to. Number one, dry cleaning. Now this might not apply to everyone, but the same concept can apply to anything you're looking at. If you just go on the internet and type in whatever business you're going to and type in the word coupon afterwards, I guarantee you find something. And dry cleaning is one of those things that it's almost hard to pay full price for unless you go in unprepared because there's always a discount, there's always some kind of sale, and dry cleaning gets expensive. So something like this, print it off, bring it in, save yourself some money. Boom, got 25% off of my order, signed up for the loyalty program, going to get a free shirt dry clean next time I go in. That is how you do it. Now off to the next place. Number two, clothes. You can buy the exact same name brand clothes that you know and love at some discount stores for much cheaper. If you like to spend more money on the exact same thing, that is up to you, my friend. But for me, I prefer to save a little bit of money. Now, of course, there's a little, there's a few drawbacks. You have to dig through some things. It's hit or miss. You won't always find things that you like. But for me, it's worth it. So the last one's gonna be pretty easy because I know I talk about this a lot and that is food. I am not the type of person that wants to eat my money. So when I'm eating alone, I definitely go for cheaper food options like potatoes, meats, vegetables, stuff like that. Stuff with still some high quality nutrients, but you're not gonna see me in my car alone chowing down on a filet mignon or anything like that. I guess I just like money more than I like good tasting food and I still like my food to taste good obviously, but I am not a food snob whatsoever. It's a little bit different when I go out, but when I go out, it's not just for food it's rarely ever for food actually it's more for entertainment or just to hang out with people you know stuff like that it's more for the experience so it's always fun to come home to packages but this is what kills me right here what are the chances I'm ever going to be home in the middle of the day to accept that package it's impossible 40 bucks off 100 so I'll pick up some new dress shoes next time I hit up Aldo 15 bucks for an oil change obviously I'm gonna have to get one of those and even hit up a Black Friday sale Really, I'm just showing you all this because I love to buy things and I am not a true rich homie. So I have to budget and the more I save, the more I can buy. All right, we're done here. Last workout clips of the video here. I promise I'm going to start out here with some pause above parallel squats. Decided to go with 265 pounds just for a set of six. And really, like I said, in just four weeks, I'm really pleased with the progress I've been able to make. Remember, I started doing these at 170 pounds, and they just felt awful. I just couldn't get the form down. Now, obviously, you're going to see a little bit of breakdown. I probably should have paused a little bit longer, but that's just how pause squats go in general. So, really can't complain too much there. And then I moved on to some closed grip bench press. Now, you guys have heard about my bench press struggles, and it wasn't that long ago where I probably couldn't have gotten 225 pounds for six reps with my competition grip, much less close grip. So the fact I was able to get this and it was a little bit grindy at the end makes me pretty happy. And I really think that this style of training is helping me out a lot. So hopefully things keep moving in this direction. Like I promised, no more workout clips for the video. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll talk to you soon. We live in an age where everything is staged. Where it has been a while since you guys have seen this griddle and I know you've missed it. So I pulled it out. I got the griddle out of the cabinet so I can make some pancakes to go along with the trend that I promised you guys, but then I got another idea and I was like, you know, it's been a long, long time since I made some French toast, so I figured why not. Do you like to lay about on the beach or do you like to be way down on the sea floor? We can travel the whole world just like Bonnie and Clyde, you and me, girl, there's really no need to be shy. Under these other girls snapping, please don't pay no attention. They say I'm out of this world like a whole new dimension. I have you singing like a mockingbird, no Atticus Fitch. It's like this life is a dream, that's the big can I be pinched. Boy, boy, me and more, Argentina, me and me, got half a plane and fly to Spain.
in the car, you pretty senorina Greenwich. So now that everybody is craving French toast, I will shut up so you guys can go make some of your own. Very easy, as you guys saw, and pretty great macros on French toast. I know a lot of people don't think of it like that, but if you use egg beaters as your egg wash, low in fat, Obviously, if you're trying to cut, cut down on fat, you don't want to include the peanut butter like I did, but you can go ahead and include the peanut butter PES, which tastes even better in my unbiased, very biased opinion. And by the way, last week, Cyber Monday, thank you guys so much. You guys killed it. You guys bought so much PES at one point. The site was down. They were selling out of stuff. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that kind of response. So if you did use my code, I really do appreciate that, guys. I'm hoping that it's as mutually beneficial to you as it is to me. 50% off. I hope some of you guys stocked up. And like I said, if you guys did buy something, let me know your feedback. However you want to tell me, comments, emails, Instagram posts, whatever it is, just let me know. I want to know what you guys think of it. I am confident that you will love it. So that's going to cut off the video. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That really helps me out, and I'll talk to you next time.